All right, so you have a fresh 120 who just finished leveling from Korach Revenge, and you want to get that person as quickly as possible to Nash Jatar with the level 35 helm. So the first thing you do is you fly over to the docks in Stormwind. Click on Matthias Shaw, take the weapon he's going to give you, and accept the quest that he gives you. You can equip the weapon if you'd like, and then you're going to talk to Captain Angelica. Captain Angelica is going to send you on a quest. You can skip the pieces you've already seen because you already have a 120 who's fully leveled and ready to go. Next, you're going to fly over to Halford Wimbering. He is going to send you on a quest to go talk to Magni. And then you have to go fly to Magni. Uh, who's in Zilophis? This guy didn't have Zilophis, so he had to go get the Alden flight points and then fly and fly and fly towards the sword hidden in Azeroth. So you'll fly over here, and then you will land and talk to Magni and get Magni's next step in the quest, which will get you your heart of Azeroth. So land, come on, ba -ba 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 -ba. land, duck. Enter the chamber. And do the quest to get your heart of Azeroth. You can skip all the cinematics if you'd like. Do the quest to empower your heart. And after this, you'll have a nice heart of Azeroth, which is a nice eye level upgrade for you. Uh, accept one of the pieces of uh, gear, has right gear, and then return, and this will take you back to the Stormwind Docks. From here, you can go fly back to Halford and turn in the quest. And once you turn in the quest, now you need to go talk to Anduin. So you fly over to Anduin Lynn. And then you listen to Lady Jane, Lady, uh, Lady Jaina, give her a little spiel. You'll sit here, and you have to click on the little portal that appears. Once you click on the portal that appears, you can skip the cinematic again, and now you need to fly back to the docks. Flying back to the docks, turn in the quest, and you can again skip the cinematic, skip the portion of the quest you've already done, except, and now you are in Boralus. Once you're in Boralus, you got to do the Tele quest line, so accept that, and then you can just, if you got flying, you fly around, you go to all the points that she wants to take you to, the bank, the inn, and the flight master, once you turn that in, Taylor is hanging around there, you can turn the quest in, then you fly over here, and you skip the cinematic again, and now you listen to Seth just talk for a little while. And blah, 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 he will talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Once he's finally done talking, there will be a few more quests that open up here. And then you can work on those quests. So once you get the quests, then you'll be able to open the portals to uh, Boralus. So you can then fly over to the portal masters, open up the portals, and I'll fly back over, turn in the quests. And the big thing is you want to make sure you get the Come Sail Away achievement. Once you have that, you can then make sure you have all the get all the quests you can, whatever, it doesn't matter here. Um, then you want to fly back over to the boat, and now get the quest from Grey Maiden. You can get all these quests. You want to get your um, Flight Master Whistle, turn in the quests that you have from Grey Main, and fly back over to Cestius, and now he will take you to Nashitar. Again, you can skip the cinematic. Alright, now talk to Grey Maiden again. Then fly over to Jaina. Get her quest, sail down on the ice, turn in the quest, get the quest here. Now at this point, your item level might not be high enough to do this stuff. Um, so what I decided to do here is actually harp out. And we're going to go get a few item level upgrades. So you can then fly back. And we're going to go back to Boralus. And we're going to go to the Hillsbrad Foothills portal that's right there. And then fly from the Hillsbrad Foothills all the way over here to the entrance to Altarok Valley. Because we are doing Korok's Revenge, we have Marks of Honor and we have Time Warp tokens that we can use. 
So we're going to go over here and grab a few items that will give us a big enough bump in our item level to do the rest of the quests. So we're going to grab a shield, a sword, maybe a uh, cloak, a ring or two. And that should be good. We're up to like 270 almost item level at this point. That should be good enough for us now to actually do the rest of the quests. All right, so we'll hearth back since we used our regular hearthstone. We have to use our drawing on hearthstone and take the portal back over to Paralysis. Now we'll go talk again. If you go talk to Cestus again, he will take you back to where you were. And now you can do these quests. And these quests you have to do, you have to kill a few Naga. You have to kill some Naga to free some guys. You have to kill some Naga and click on some orbs. And then you have to kill the big old Naga that's around here as well. So doing all this killing, you know, it takes a few minutes. This is the probably one of the longer parts of the questing that you have to do. Especially if you're on a paladin who doesn't do a lot of damage. And so we will click through, go do, 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 kill all these guys around here. And once we kill all these guys, then we can go talk to the big guy and kill the big guy over here. Heal ourselves up, do a little more of them, some more killing, orb clicking. Level five over here. There's somebody else doing this. That's a really good time to do it if there's somebody else doing it, because then you can take advantage of each other's DPS. There's killing that guy, turn the quest in, grab a good item if it's not an upgrade for you. Um, and we've almost got enough guys here. We got that. Turn that quest in. One more guy. Then we'll go over here, kill this guy, and there we go. Turn that quest in and go talk to Lady Jaina here. Now you can fly over to the parts of the quest that you need. So fly around to the spots that it prompts you to go to. Follow the prompts, skip the cinematics, and now you're here with Lady Jaina. So you're now at this point where you can open the portal to Nashatar from uh, Boralis. Now Jaina's opened that up for you. Jaina, I'll give you a piece of gear. It's a nice piece of gear for that. Okay, your item level is going up pretty quick now. All right, so you are now at a decent spot, but Maggie has a new quest for you. So again, take the portals, get yourself back to Silithus, turn in the quest for Magni, talk to Mother, fill out the quest for Mother, and she will take you out to the Torrent area, and now you will have to do some more quests here. You have to use your Heart of Azeroth on four spots here. So again, take out the guys, use your heart. This part is actually surprisingly difficult. This is probably the hardest part had and again heart of azeroth turn the quests now there's a long rp section here where this guy just talks and talks and talks so while he's doing that you can kill a few guys and have a little fun uh, those little bulbs that pop up if you run over those they actually do a pretty good uh heal on you so you want to take advantage of those when you kill a guy and you, if you die, like I just did there, you will be resurrected. But luckily, his health does not return. So you can then again just, you know, make sure you avoid the damage, which I learned that the hard way. But make sure you're just kind of moving around constantly. Anytime there's a swirl underneath you, just avoid it. And kill him, kill him, kill him. Heal yourself up. Takes a little while. Once you get, once you get used to the pattern, it's actually pretty simple. You can you know, practice healing yourself up, get better with your character, especially if it's a fresh 120 that you maybe haven't done a lot of. Once you defeat them, they'll put the shield on the ground. You can then take that, talk to the quest giver, then you can use the take the you just can hearth out, hearth back to your hearthstone, fly back to the portal area, go to Boralis, and go back to Silithus. Once you're back in Silithus, go Talk to him. Turn in the quest. Turn in the quest. Talk to mother. Turn in the quest. Enhance your heart of Azeroth. 
and put that blue item on your Heart of Azeroth, apply it, boom, 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 boom. And now your Heart of Azeroth is level 35. And you take the portal back, and take the portal back, and then go to the Ashtar, turn in the quest, and she will give you a nice piece of benthic gear. You can then take the benthic gear and get that upgraded. And now you have a decent eye level and a decent setup to start leveling up your new 120 in Najatar. Hope this video was helpful.